Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. Who is the best coach you ever coached against in your career? Well, I'll answer that this way. John Thompson is the best defensive coach I've ever seen. His teams just came at you for 40 minutes with everything they had, and they obviously had talent too, but they were so physical, so good defensively, by far the best defensive teams. The toughest guy, Rick Patino, did more things, matchup zones, man-to-man, -man, um, press, um, multiple different offensive schemes. Uh, Rick won an NCAA tournament with, I think, at Louisville with nobody that was really recruited on the team very hard. And, of course, he won at Kentucky with really good players one year too. But he, he does the most – he gets the most out of players, uh, I think, of any coach. Uh, Mike Krzyzewski is the best coach at putting together a program and, and getting it to where it has to – it's there every year and comes at you every year with talent and good, good defense, good fundamentals. Dean Smith was like that. When he was at Carolina, multiple different things, but you can't really pick when you're when you coach for fifty years like like I did. You yeah. you really can't pick one or two. I mean, there's so many great coaches that I got to coach against. Jim Calhoun is another one that I think is very underrated uh, for what he did at Connecticut and the way he coached physical, tough, rebounding teams that didn't give you an inch ever. Um, you know, I mean, those are just a few guys that come to mind uh, that, that I respect as coaches. Um, I coached against Coach Knight at the end, but I watched his teams play. When he was in Indiana, he had the best team I've ever seen, the 76 team, in terms of a cohesive basketball team, defensively and offensively. I mean, UCLA had better teams talent-wise with Walton and Jabbar and, you know, all those guys. But Indiana had, you know, good players. I think, you know, probably, you know, obviously with uh, Benson at center and, and Curtis uh, or uh, Scott May. At, folks, Scott May was probably the best player on that team. Quinn Buckner was good. Uh, point guard, uh, well, Bobby Wilkerson was good. Nobody may be great, but they were the, the best team I've ever seen. I saw them embarrass teams, just defensively, just take teams out of everything they were trying to do. Good teams and just run out 24 to three or something. And the three wow. the team got was lucky. So, <laughs> you know, I mean, I got an opportunity to coach a lot against a lot of just unbelievable, great, great, coaches and uh, I coached against the Russian coach that won the Olympics really didn't win it but they gave it to him but uh, <laughs> he was a really really good basketball coach and uh, you know there's a lot of good European coaches that are really good but uh, we're fortunate in this country we have great coaches I mean I haven't even touched the, some of the great coaches Pete Carrill John Cheney best defensive zone coach I've ever seen. People give me credit for zone defense. John Chaney had the, the best zone defense wow. um, I've seen. And Roley's matchup the year that they won it was the best matchup, best zone anybody's ever played. They they just beat everybody with that defense. You couldn't score against them. Really, really good teams. I think it was North Carolina might have had 45 points against them or something that year. And uh, – People forget Villanova right. lost their two, last two. All right, this is rapid teams. fire. Hey, we got Jerome oh, yeah. wants to get in a question here. <laughs> rapid fire. All right, trying to avoid my the tough questions here. <laughs> Thank you for watching the Field of Sixty Eight. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, hit that like button, share this link with your friends, or check out the description for some other places that you can consume Field Sixty Eight content.